Okay guys, check it out. We haven't seen this before. What? There's another bus here. Holy moly. Check this baby out. It's a 2006, 2006 Bluebird. It's Ramblin' Rob's. And he's been coming down and visiting us as we build the bus. So when he, he said he was coming down, I thought you were just bringing your drive the work truck but he showed up in the bus so it's super awesome let me show you guys this this is, it is amazing first off it's a really sweet job on the door so he put regular household hardware on here and nice hardware too so he welded that door back together and I mean it's super it's a super nice job on the door. Deadbolt. And I mean, the action on it's just super solid. So I love that. Now he had factory under bays on here already. So some of them go all the way through. The two back ones go all the way across. Okay, the two back ones go all the way across and up here only halfway, whatever. Well, there's a fuel tank between the two. Good fuel tank of things. So that's all cool. I mean, the uh, this one's really neat with the. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, he actually uses his locks, which is something <laughs> that we should do. So check this out, guys. I mean, everything that he's done to this bus is very clean. So how many batteries is that? Four. 400 amp hours or they're 170 amp hours 24 volt wow 680 amp hours total so this is all cool and there's this uh dump dump valve down there but you guys got to see his solar his solar panel thing here oh uh, this used to be the a handicap entry look at this guys I'm like, this is how to put in the system. It's all organized. It all makes sense. He's got access, that 5,000 watt octro. I'm like, and on the roof, you've got 2,400 watts of solar. Two charge controllers to split it up. Some of it I don't fully understand, but it's all so nicely done it's just amazing and uh, there's his instant hot water up there so that is just a super clean super clean job on that utility cab it's awesome he's got outside plug-ins front and rear uh, he's got uh, yard lights is there are they on both sides the yard lights uh, well, there's one at the other door. One at the other door. So come back to this, guys. Check this out. Back here, he tucked his mini split inside that cabinet. So you had to move the hydraulic tank, you said? Uh, power steering. Power reservoir. steering. He had to relocate the power steering reservoir, but there, that baby is tucked in there. It's perfect. I've heard, I've heard that, too. People are saying it won't work in the engine bay, but he's saying it's no problem. These lights are sequential, so when he turns them on, you know, they go blink, 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 blink. Super cool change on the lights. Um, camera, so those are awesome. He's got his the side ones on it, too. Uh, here's his fresh water in, and his uh, power, shore power, comes in there. Outdoor outlet, another outdoor outlet. The under base on this side of course and then this door i don't even know what they call these doors that was the emergency exit right is that exhaust for the toilet yeah so he has an incinerating toilet he's got an incinerating toilet which is the first time i've seen that instead of a regular wood stove he's got a pellet stove in here you can see the uh, stack the stack for the pellet stove is 12.6 Top is 12 yeah. Yep, so he's well, he's got good clearance even with his stack up all the time. But the inside of this is so cool, you guys. 
So, I mean, coming in, it's just, I'm just so happy that he brought the bus down and we could see it. But, so I am pretty much would call this galley style. And, you know, the, the uh, cockpit up here above the driver, he's got his, his uh, stereo system in and the header up there. And a CB radio? It's just a, a receiver, amplifier. So it Bluetooth to my phone. Oh, that's the thing that you were having trouble getting to connect. Yeah. Wow. And then it just connected when he looked at it. Didn't even do anything. Because Don's a techie. <laughs> <laughs> so here is the uh, pellet stove. Oh, and this uh, chair, I, I didn't show it to you before, but it swivels and it's got seat belts and everything. Oh, sweet. Swiveling pass our uh, co-pilot chair with a seat belt. And he's got great cabinets everywhere, but I, I love the countertops. But we need to turn the lights on here and light this. There we go. He's got this super cool, I thought this was a skylight, but it's an LED panel light. But look at these countertops, guys. He did the epoxy thing on these countertops and they just glow. He's got a full size, not an apartment size, a full-size gas range and the microwave which I personally could not live without my microwave <laughs> but well on the first walkthrough I saw the TV in the back and I was like well that's a pretty tiny TV but check this guy out this is so cool oh and he's got the, the button locks but I love this so I was like uh, bum, bum. I mean, he's got a nice he TV, suspense, huh? and uh, he can sit right here in this recliner, this recliner set, and watch that TV. And pure comfort with the heat of that pellet stove. There's no, he's not short on heat, but he also has behind this uh, recliner set. There's a uh, diesel heater tucked in back there. So he's got multiple heat sources, right? Which is, I always, I think that's really smart to have more than one, one source. So these countertops again over here, they are just, they're beautiful. They're so slick. Super size uh, stainless steel sink with the, the flexing neck thing there. And I wished I would have found these He's got these, the popping. <laughs> booby traps. That was a booby trap, just, <laughs> just for me. Those are pretty cool because you just lock them like that and you're ready to go down the road. But whenever I see other people's buses, I'm astounded by how much he got in here. So he's got a, a full-size refrigerator freezer here. That's awesome. A ton of storage over here, right? This is all pantry storage. Yeah, it's a mess too. It's probably booby trapped too. It might be, but it's a uh, full pantry. Yeah. So this is the incinerating toilet, mm -hmm. and I'm like, wow, that's really hot shit. No help. <laughs> I couldn't resist. That was too easy. <laughs> So he doesn't have to deal with urine. His gray tank is really a gray tank. So the urine and the feces both go in here and they're incinerated. That stack goes up and out the roof of the bus. I, I'm like, that's super cool. And I love that he recycled the bus mirror. He recycled the bus mirror here, you know, the one that was on the header at the dash. And he's got these LED strips and they change color. I'm like, man, those are super cool. Uh, I might add those on my bus because it's hard to see when I'm trying to shave or cut my hair. That's what, that's when I was standing there. That light was behind me, so I couldn't, yeah. Yeah, so check this out, guys. I'm like, I don't even, I don't even understand how he got this all in here, but he's got a full-sized, this is a 48-inch shower, right? 36 by 48. 
Yeah, 36 by 48. I got a built-in sh uh, shelf up there for the for stuff. But I, oh, nice. I set it down in there while I was traveling just to keep oh. it from falling out. Oh, yeah, that's the road. That's how you get ready for the road, people. <laughs> put, put your shampoo and your soap on the floor because from up there, it yeah, sounds like it. something broke apart. Well, I didn't want to put a hole in the shower pan. Yeah, and he's got the tongue and groove wood all over. A rain head, shower head. Super cool. Oh, and this is a privacy curtain here if you want to shut the mm -hmm. to the bathroom off. He's got the max fan up here. So, and then in here, this might be a little bit harder to film for uh, light wise. Yeah, it's pretty dark. Oh, there we go. That's nice. So he's got light over here by the headboard. So. Shelly pointed out one reason he's got more room there is he's up over the engine where we we have storage back there but there above the bed is his mini split head and over here he's got another TV a ton of storage under the bed right there and holy moly I mean this is a look at all these guys here and they're 22 inches deep so there's lots of storage He's got tons of storage here. And what's under this, Rob? That's the water pump. Oh, the water pump and stuff was under here, yeah. Yeah, so that's his water pump. What's over there? These are just drawers. Oh, that's okay. the wheel well. Oh, okay. So up over, over the, the wheel, wheel well, I have drawers. Yeah, so he was able to squeeze two drawers in over top of that before, and then that's the water tank right there. Mm -hmm. Sweet, super efficient use of space and clean. It's all clean and organized. I, that's what it, I love that. Super nice. Carbon monoxide detector. I need to get one of those myself. But he's got the window covered now, but so he can see from bed, he can look right out the window. And he's got another light back there. Here it is coming back this way. But these countertops. Are just these are just beautiful so super happy to be able to share this with you guys and I'm so touched that he that he brought it down he doesn't like to be filmed so there you can just see that's Rob it's his bus anyhow super I mean it has such a uh, with all the wood in here it's really warm kind of a cabiny I don't know all you interior decorators can debate it whatever it's awesome <laughs> Anyhow, hope you guys enjoyed seeing this, and thanks, Rob, for bringing it. It's just so special to be able to see it. We'd get together and talk about stuff, but to actually have him here and see this is just, like, super awesome. Really great. So, hope you guys are doing good on your projects and getting them all done. And lots of love in your life. I'll catch you next time. Rob's getting packed up, ready to go super fun to see his bus in person and spend time with him we had a great visit today We're kind of planning on meeting up at schooly palooza maybe that would be so cool but it's just been awesome having the two green buses parked beside each other today Oop, there he goes and for the record, Rob's not on the video too much because he doesn't like to be filmed, so.